Hello. So in this video, I would uh, like to quickly talk about the challenge of the acoustic guitar when it comes to looping it, uh, because most of the times when uh, somebody's strumming, uh, the strum actually starts before the beat, and um, if that part's missing, it just sounds weird. Let me demonstrate this. So we don't actually hear the strumming of uh, the first beat, we just hear how the guitar starts to sound. Let me play it again. So, um, and if I zoom in here, then you can see, aha, there is the part that we need. So I'm going to go here, add a little bit of a fade um, so that we don't hear any clicks. And let's see. Now you can hear a real strum. So now we have the problem if we if we keep the loop this way, then it's not going to uh, it's not going to loop correctly. Like if you just hit loop, then you see it'll drift apart here. We're not on the we're not on the grid anymore. You know, you can see here it's way off the grid. So uh, so this is not going to work. So what I did for this library is I made a little cut here and I moved this to the one like that. And I moved this over a little bit, added a nice equal powered crossfade and now we uh, retained the timing of the rest of the recording uh, but we have a clear and nice one inside the loop and uh, so so that's how I edited that if you want to later you can move this back like that Lengthen this a little bit. Add your own crossfade. Um, it'll go, it's gonna sound great. And then it's the uh, it's the tempo that it was played at. Um, but then you have to make sure that you're not just hitting loop, but that you're actually copying the regions over, um, so that the so that back here it'll be at the same point as it is over here, because that's not gonna happen when you just loop the region. All right, I hope that's clear. And uh, as always, if you need any help, just send me an email at support at goodloops.com. That's support at good-loops.com. Thanks.